Because when you first met me, I was wearing a sporty, the chillest yeah. punch sporty. And then we're sitting down, and you're like, You South Africa. You South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, had you seen that dance before, or like? It's just, I don't know, it's not like I've seen that. I, I saw something that is just like a different collaborations of different dance that I joined mm. together to create my own out of it. Mm. You know, so I saw something like this, something like this, something like this from different people. I would be flying all around the world for peanuts. <laughs> Taking pictures and living fake lives. <laughs> with fake Dolce. <laughs> and fake girls with fake pussy. <laughs> Tyler, do you know Tyler? She's a content creator. Oh, I know Tyler. Mm. The, the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's a content creator? Yeah, yeah. Bro, so, 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 how do you know someone looks American? I mean, South African. How do you know someone looks Nigerian? Hey, I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. There's, there's this way South African um, um, way of life, their skin color, yeah. the way they look, the way they wear their cap. Hey. Yeah, they just you will just know that this is South African, this is Ghanaian, and this is Nigerian. Because when you first met me, I was wearing a sporty, the chillest yeah. punch sporty, and then we're sitting down, and you're like, you South Africa. You South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you, Moonchild Sinali is my friend. Yeah, yeah Moonchild, yes. So yes, I've yes. been to South Africa like Johannesburg, Cape Town, go off and on, off and on. Wow, man. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, please. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Nah, don't worry, man. <laughs> you can answer that. Who's that? Your side chick? No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, okay. No, I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine. All right, all right, all right. All right. And now, what I mean, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the biggest uh, artists, one of the biggest influencers in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. His name is um, Slim Case, Slim aka Case. Big Slim. Big Slim. Yes. <laughs> That's the one I was looking for, yeah, man. Big Slim. Bro, so how do you go, like, it's crazy your journey, man. Yeah. And I hope we can talk more about it. How do you go from being a factory worker okay. to being a musician? And an influence. Oh my God. I, I, at first, I'm a survivor. Yeah. I'm a survivor. Yeah. I started as a factory worker. And then back back then, I used to earn 18,000 naira. That is below, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that's below like $10 a month. Wow. Yeah. So I do a lot of trekking with my earpiece on and then listening to music. And then I, I moved past that. Uh, because it's a long story, mm. and then to music. And then, you know, I met with Whiskey, Tiwo Savage, and then all these people. Because I, I didn't even start as, a, as an artist, I started as a hype man. Hype man, oh, yes. okay. I do hype hype a lot in the, in the club. the club, yes. Yeah, I do a lot of hype. So with all these hype people, all these hype, hype artists now in Nigeria, I am the very first hype man to have a song. Okay. In Nigeria. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah. And the very first hype man that I hyped for Whiskey mm. as an intro in Gucci Snake. Mm. No hype man's ever done that. That's crazy. You know, so then from then I moved to music and then from music, you know, because of the trend, the, the pressure but of wait, 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 big slim. Let's, let, let, yeah. let's go back a bit, man. Okay. How do you go from being a factory <laughs> worker to hyping up whiskey? <laughs> you see, you see that that looks so impossible, bro. Yes. But it's possible because as a factory worker, I did a lot of things. I, I have dreams. I have dreams. I pray a lot. You know, and I have dreams, and then, you know, I never give up on my dream. Then, um, you, do you know Sars, Beat by Sars? No, 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 no. Beat by Sars is a producer. Yeah. You know, he produced um, Coding Diet and all these things. Before Beat by Sars is big, I used to go to Sars' house and then save my money. You know, out of the 15000 that I earned, mm. I save a little, and then I save for like six months mm. to work with Sars. Mm. You know, then me, Sars, Reminis, Jobless, Dark Green, wow. the late Dark Green in the studio. You know, then, um, of course, I never gave up on my dream until I did one song that changed the whole story, which was a, like a stripper song. Mm. 
And that song became so big on the mainland. It's called Majomo. It's a song for the strippers. Mm. Then from be doing the stripper song, then hyping in the strip club, and then I'll be like, you know what? I can put this hype thing into I'm a piano beat. Mm. And then I sampled a beat, you know? It's not, not like sample, like I, it's a mixtape. Mm. And then I did a, a, a hype on a song, which the song is called Ojo Zondi. And that song became so popular that I get to meet the band, Bangali. Mm. Then from the band, I recorded a song with the band in the morning. And then I recorded a song with Tiwa Savage in the night. Wow. <laughs> in one day, mm. bro. And then the next day, Tiwa Savage connect me to Whiskey. And Whiskey be like, I've been hearing these guys. I'm a piano hype thing. We're going to do something. Come on, a hype on a song for me. And then I, I, I almost passed out when Whiskey sh shook my hand. That's crazy. I had a lot of goosebumps. And then the next day, we, we I, I was in the studio with with whiskey smoking Zaza. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how did you leave the factory? Did you say I quit? Or you, what happened? That's what's up, bro. Yeah, I just said I quit. <laughs> I, I I told the boss because he used to like come. You no, know, I I cleaned floor in the factory, mm. so I put this earpiece on and I'm be cleaning the floor. Mm. And most of the time, you'll be like. You be calling me, I won't concentrate. So you cut the earpiece, cut it out. Hey, you're not working. He cut almost 18 earpieces. He cut one today, about another one tomorrow. And I keep listening to music. Mm. And then from there, I just told him, you know what? I quit. I'm a star. I want, I want to be famous. Mm. And then I thought it's going to be easy for another five years. Yeah. Nobody know me. And then God answered the prayer. And, and, and you know, we speak about you being an influencer now, but yeah. I think you've always been. Because you started the Shaku Shaku. Yeah, yeah, I, start, train, I started Shaku Shaku. Yeah. Kwanja, which one is the Shaku Shaku? Because that was massive, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was huge, eh? From, which one is it? <laughs> yeah, that's the Shaku Shaku. Shaku is it Shaku Shaku? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shaku Shaku. Yeah, I remember. I found one of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that was that, you. Yeah, no, that, that, that Shaku Shaku sound. And that's how I know Moncha Zenale. Yes. It's, she sang that song, Shaku Shaku. Shaku. I don't know how she sang that. But you started the dance. I started dancing my dance. Wait, please do it for us. Ah, will I stand up? Yeah, stand up and do it for us. Let's see, my man. <laughs> okay. Um, so we can jog people's memory. You know, you know, it's just like, like you see? Hey. You see? Hey. That's me, Shaku Shaku. <laughs> <laughs> you started that, bro. I started dancing. How did, that, how, did that, how, did how did it start? How did it start? How did it start? And I this want, is before just, TikTok. Before TikTok, Instagram's not that even popular then, you know? So yeah, it's, it, 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 it's a different vibe energy, you know? It's just my kind of style. The way I dance, and then before I know it, everybody started dancing with like that. Mm. And then I have to give it a name, Shaku Shaku. And what, what does it mean, Shaku Shaku? Mm. You know, you can't... <laughs> <laughs> Are you so like me? That is deep in you, man, you know, shaku shaku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. It is, it is what it is then. From What's it called, sorry? Repeat that. Shaku shaku. Yeah, but what does it mean? Ashami means slow, in the slum, dance of the, like, the slum dog dance. Ah. Real street dance. Did you, had you seen that dance before or like? It's just, I don't know, it's not like I've seen it. I, I saw something that is just like a different collaborations of different dance that I joined mm. together to create my own out of it. Mm. You know, so I saw something like this, something like this, something like this from different people. Then I, I joined it together to then to create another kind of dance. Now, the, the one thing that I like about you is okay. that uh, we have one thing in common, right. which is we love alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love what? Alcohol. Okay, okay, yes. South Africans love alcohol. And you? I don't take alcohol. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. What I'm getting to is, uh, uh, yes, I wanted to say you don't like alcohol. I don't, I've never tasted alcohol. Like but I'll, people, when they get drunk, they inspire your music. They, they inspire my music. Yes. To talk to people. Yes, that's what In I wanted fact, to my, my kind of style of music, I got it from Jackie Chan. Mm. Funny enough. Mm. I, I, what, I was seeing the movie, The Drunken Master. So, so when he's drunk, he be like, ah, so, 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 so. then I'll be like, well, let me start acting like a drunken artist. <laughs> and then with the energy, start singing with it. Yeah. And then I have my sound. Yeah. Now I have a lot of people trying to jack my style now. Ah, so, so, so. I started all those things. So the how, mumbling sound. How come you, you've never drank before? 
I don't like I don't it, it looked like I want to commit a suicide or something. Because I don't like the way it tastes, the way it smells. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the smell. How do how would you know how it tastes if you've never had the it, the way it smells, I don't like it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But funny enough, I, I I like when my girl or when my girlfriend do what I don't do. Like I don't drink, but I like girls that drink. Ah, I'm attracted. Get you. To yes, 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 yes. I don't smoke. I'm attracted to girls that smoke. Mm. I don't like tattoos. I'm attracted to girls that have tattoos. That's crazy, yeah. man. That that turns me on, like naturally. Yeah. Just drink. I'm attracted to it, but I don't drink. Yeah. Why is that, bro? That's insane, bro. Why is that, bro? I don't know. I don't know. It just, it just happened like that's just my way. Uh, I don't, so I tried it once when I was in Turkey. A girl gave me what kind of weed. I just I smoked the weed and everything was funny. <laughs> Everything. The way you smile like that, it's funny to me. Like, I was laughing with anything. Like, oh, you know. I don't know what happened, but I just woke up the next day and then we are both naked and the bed is wet. I don't know what. And I feel like the next day, you know what? Can I have that same week? <laughs> That was happened in Turkey, but when I get to Nigeria, I was almost look, I was looking for that. Yeah, I like no, it's it's not the same. Yeah, this is this is fake. Yeah, because I started like yeah. <laughs> the weed, but the color is purple. I don't know what is it. Yeah, it's, it's, yes, I I I, I smoke shisha then, yeah. so she just sprinkled a little bit in my hookah. Yeah, and then that's it. Yeah. I, I started laughing because I saw the, the, the hookah b- b- um, bubbles blow. I'm like, why is it blowing up? So then I knew something is wrong with my body. Yeah. Everything was funny. Yeah. Yeah, if I see that kind of weed, then I, I might go back. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you stay being creative, especially now that you're an influencer, when you don't have any, like, alcohol or, yeah, or I, drugs? I, or... I, I like that. Mm. I like that. It gets to a point in my music career that it looks as if I was fading off. Then I started, I wanted to start paying all these influencers, the TikTok influencers, the Instagram influencers, please help me dance to my song. I paid a lot. And then one day I got tired of it. I'd be like, you know what? I'm not going to be an artist anymore. All this, my money well of I don't chop. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to be an influencer too and I'm going to start eating music. Eating money from all these artists too. Ah. And then I became an influencer till I became a competition. Mm. And then all these people that I used to pay, pay, they start paying me now to promote their own artists. No way. So I collected back all my money from this. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart, bro. Yeah. So now I'm, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm on everybody's payroll if they want to drop a song now. That's crazy. Yeah. So we could pay you right now to drop a song. That's what I'm talking about. And I'll be very happy to, to have it. Yeah. You know, the, the, you know, I did a lot of things to just keep the numbers going. Mm. The studio show, the game house, the content creating, everything, you know. I did everything to make money. Mm. Because I noticed one thing, that the moment a Nigerian forgets your sound, mm. and if they forget your face mm. and your name... It's a rap. They're not gonna nothing that you will do that. So even if they forget the sound, they must not forget the name mm. and the face. Mm. Anything to do to put your face out there, keep doing it. And and how's the influencing versus the music? Like which one do you prefer? I, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Let me tell you something here. Yeah? I prefer the music, but I love the content creating because I would just post the content. I, I'll make times three of the money that I'm making from going mm. to show. Mm. You know, I won't have to stress. I'll just call my friends with creative content and boom. You don't have to leave your house. But music, I will have to start flying. (laughs) I've been to 29 countries, bro. 29? Yeah. I will be flying all around the world for peanuts. (laughs) (laughs) Taking pictures and living fake lives. (laughs) With fake gold chain. (laughs) And fake girls with fake pussy. (laughs) (laughs) Big slim. I got tired of that, bro. I'm tired. Yeah. But I'll create content. I'll get paid by um I'll get paid by, by commercials. I'll get paid by Facebook. I'll get paid people still see my face. You know, so I'll be like, okay, but I, content creator will not make you fly. Mm. But content creator is gonna give you a lot of money. You can be very okay, but you're not gonna fly. Mm. What can make you fly is still the music. Mm. 
So no, sometimes I, I miss music. Yes, yes. yes. That's why I, I want to drop a song now. In two years, I haven't dropped any songs. So I want to drop a song now. And then who's going to influence this the song? Every, myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to charge myself. <laughs> Uh, what do you say about people that say you are the male Cardi B? Cardi Banga? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like Cardi B. Yeah. I like Cardi B at a point because she, she like influenced me at the point like, you know what? Mm. She's a survivor. She moved from being a stripper mm. then to an artist. Mm. And then Cardi B have this connection with all these content creators. Yes. Mm. You know, so she's just like Knows what's up. She she doesn't give a fuck. Mm, mm. She she always open her mind to say, okay, I like this, I don't like this, and she doesn't care what happens. Mm. She's gonna tell you what she feels and what she don't feel. Mm. So that's why I, I like that energy. But what do you say about people that think you are the male version of a Cardi B? I am the male version of Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But but I, I wanna ask a question, yeah? Yeah. Do you still feel like the way African music is going right now is affecting hip hop? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I I I feel well. Listen, man, I've I've never stayed in America for long, yeah. so I don't really know what's going on there. But from what I see on social media, is people are looking for an alternative. They're tired of the whole "Hey, I slept with this girl." But it's repeat, repeat. And the one thing about South African music, yeah. Your sounds, we don't understand what you guys are saying. But you can feel. There's something spiritual. 100%. Have you, want, have you wanted to ask South African, what is so spiritual that every time I listen to your sound, have good bombs? It's, and it's, every time we listen to Afrobeat, we want to dance. Yes, yes. Why, why, why is it like that? I, I feel like... Do you guys have some voodoo shit on it? No. <laughs> So I listen to your songs and I remember my ancestors. Yes. Yes. Why? You nailed it. No, it's from the ancestors. Mm -hmm. It's a gift that uh, um, these artists are given from, okay. from ancestors. Yeah, it's so like, like Kinta Kunte. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like when most of these people, whether it's a producer or an artist, mm -hmm. you know, we've got like Kabza the Small. Uh, I've interviewed Msaki. Okay. Like there's an overwhelming spiritual feeling mm. that overtakes them and yeah. they're not in charge, you know, and they just put this out on a canvas and lay it out for the world to bear, but it happens to be a uh, music. Mm -hmm. So that's why you might not know what they're saying, but you can feel why, it. Why, why, why? Then why you guys not being nominated for Grammy? It's a good question. Because we, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Because uh, that's how which African, South Africa can be just be in the category. So you like, literally have good songs when you listen. I listen. I still have it this morning. What song? When, what song was it? You don't know. Uh, nah, darling, nah, I'm a... What is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> which one? Monday to Sunday. Uh, uh, it's talking about alcohol, I'm actually. A... Why? Why is it? Them this song, Booey. Is it Booey or what? Is... Bo Bowie, yeah. B W O H R E, wasn't it? That's lady with the big ass. Uh, which one? Which one? Which song is that? B O O H I E, B O O H I E, Bowie, Bootle, Boot Bootle. I'm a big fan. Yes, yes. I love her sounds. Bootle is crazy. Yeah, Bootle is crazy. Why? Come on, man. You guys are big. South Africans. It's just like well, you you got big booties. Oh, this guy. <laughs> and alcohol. So so would you say Afrobeat is not spiritual? Afrobeat is spiritual. But I feel like Afrobeat is connected to dancing. Mm. The moment we listen to Afrobeat, we wanna dance. Mm, you just wanna. You're there. The ginger. I feel like Afrobeat is the ginger. Mm. Why I'm a piano is the spiritual. Yeah. You listen, you want to like, you think when you listen to a piano, you dance when you listen to Afrobeat. Yeah, yeah. Something will just come to your mind, listen to a piano, they just carry your memory away, probably back to the past of to the future. <laughs> 
and you just start to feel like you have existed before. Yes, yes, yes. That's the way I see I'm a piano. It's spiritual. But anytime I listen to Afrobeat, I want to dance. But when I listen to I'm a piano, I want to think. Oh, man, that's beautiful, man. Yeah. I love that you say that and I love that you could pick it up from the sound, you know? Yeah, that's it. So that's why, do you see why um, uh, Maporisa will put out a video saying, hey guys, don't play my piano fast. Please. Because it comes from a sacred place. It first comes from a very long beat and then few words. <laughs> and it started repeating and repeating and repeating that same word till it hits your spirit. <laughs> You got what I'm talking about? Big slip. Let's go to content creation, man. Yeah. Is there any content creators in South Africa that you like? Man. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't know any content creator in South Africa. Mm. Mm. I wanted to, like, is there content creators in South Africa? Yeah, a lot, man. I don't know them. I don't even know one. There's a girl called Seema. Oh. There's Zila Weezy. I don't know them. Mm. The only content creators I know are the Nigerians and the Americans. Mm. And I don't really, they don't really push this ever out the way. Mm. Yeah. I Tyler, like, do you know Tyler? She's a content creator. Oh, I know Tyler. Mm. The, the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's a content creator? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Big slip. <laughs> uh, 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 guys, but I, I don't, I don't understand the mm. Grammy thing. Like, yeah. it looks like a miracle mm. because you have Bona and OBO mm. and now Tyler, the content creator. Do mm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how how Bona be like? And the winner, Bona will be like, yeah, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> so so which country do you think has the best content creators? Nigerians. For real? Yeah, Nigerians produce content back to back every day. Mm. There's a new content. So you can make a living just from content creation in Nigeria? 100%. Wow, beautiful. Nothing else, just content. You're making a living. How many numbers could you get like on TikTok? Because Nigeria is a big place, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, like um followers? Yeah, followers, yeah. Me? Mm. Right now, I don't really do too TikTok much. Yeah. I just yeah. go post, but I still have the numbers. Yeah. I have um 60,000, 60, no, 70,000 followers. But if I post, I get up to 1.3, 1.2 million views. No ways, bro. I swear to God. I don't know how it happened, but it happened because of my, my kind of content. Mm. But Instagram, I'm doing well. But I, I still... My, my part, some part of me love music, some part of me love content creating, but content creating is just easy for me. But the problem with content creating, you as a content creator, you need to stop at the age of 45. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop creating content. So if you want to be rich, make sure you are rich and then get a lot of money. The moment you're 45 years old, Get leave, out. leave social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because content creating affects my brain. Now. For real? I hardly sleep, bro. No ways, bro. I swear to God. I hardly sleep. I, do you know, it, it gets to a point, anytime I see beautiful women, I don't see like, oh, babe. All I be like, oh, what a content. <laughs> <laughs> to that point, you just, oh, I wish I can just do something. Yeah. You're not really thinking or the, yeah. the, the thing, it's, it, it affects your brain to a point. You're thinking content every content day. Content every day. You are on explore. You are searching and searching. And before you know it, it's four o'clock in the morning. You mm. have no sleep. Because you are looking for things that's going to inspire you. Mm. And then that is affecting your brain. And then you go, you record, and then people don't like it. Depression will set in. Pressure will set in. You're checking numbers every time. How many likes? How many comments? How many views? And then Max Zuckerberg is somewhere eating popcorn watching movies. <laughs> <laughs> While you're working for him. <laughs> Why you are scattering your brain? Yeah. You know, so I feel like in your 40s, if you want to live long, just, just get no, up. But, but you're right, Big Slim. I don't think content creation is good for anyone's mental health. At all, bro. At all. Running, running around the street with cameras and ring lights like madman, looking for trends, looking for other people's business to jump on. That's going to trend your page until you find yourself in trouble. Because you know? even if you, you, you go, you go, even if you 
create something and it becomes viral, yeah, right? Yeah. Then people expect you to keep creating that thing. But you've moved on, though. Thank you. You see, nothing that you put out there as a content creator, that glory lasts just for 24 hours. Mm. The moment Instagram writes one day, <laughs> <laughs> two day, <laughs> three days, <laughs> you're under pressure. <laughs> what next? What next? What next? What next? <laughs> Hello? Alpha? Yeah, I can be getting more content. And before you know it, your boyfriend is not enjoying you. Yeah. Your girlfriend is not enjoying you. It's affecting your relationship. You, she's going to serve you food. With one spoon you are eating, the next food, you, the next minute you lose appetite. Yeah. Because it's not doing well. You just post it. So your content, how success your content is, how success your relationship is going to be with people. That's crazy. You might be like, oh, you're happy right now. And then the next minute you are moody just because of one single post. Oh, comment. And then you don't want to see anybody anymore. <laughs> Any little thing you feel like slapping anybody. <laughs> Just because of one post, yeah. it's going to ruin your whole day. You are in church, you're not even praying. Yes. Have you ever seen you, someone praying in church? Father, Lord, this post I'm posting tomorrow. <laughs> wow, many of you. Let us go to that point. Yeah. Yeah, because it, I don't know. It affects a lot of things around you as a content creator. They're having the money, but they are not enjoying the peace. Mm. They, they're so rich, but they are not enjoying the peace. Their mm. mental health is destroyed. Yeah. I swear to God. Why do you think that is? Because you've done music and both content uh, creation. Yeah, but yeah. music. It's, if you put out a hit. It's liberation. In five years, you can still be enjoying that one hit. Ah. That's why you still be getting shows. Last Last is forever. Ever. And people can still remember. Now, if I'm going to ask you, what's the content this person posts in six days? You don't remember. Because a lot of content you're seeing. <laughs> so why you want to kill yourself over a post that nobody's going to remember in two days? <laughs> <laughs> you want to kill yourself? Yeah. In two days, everybody forgot. Oh, that, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, nice one, nice one. Yeah. That's all. Damn. But music stays forever. Even after death, people can play your song. Mm. But after death, who's going to go back to your content? Mm. <laughs> that is the end of your page, bro. <laughs> that is the end of your page. Yeah. So it, it, it doesn't work at the end of the day. So I've made my I vow. Momentum I'm 45 years, I'm done with this. <laughs> and what's content. crazy is, even though you're saying all of this thing, you still need to post. I'm thinking of posting right now. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is half year after. <laughs> Your mind is half year after. We are, we are all programmed, bro. Yeah. Like the social world is not the real world. Mm. Why the real world is not the, the fake world? Yeah. You know, we are not in the real world anymore. Mm. The real world is not the social world. We are Leos now. We are living in Matrix. Yeah. You post, you check how many views. Oh, it's too you are not smiling with everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you read a comment. Someone that is passing you, hey, Alpha! <laughs> Just because your post is doing well. Yeah. But if it's not doing well, everybody's an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you start suspecting everybody. Because <laughs> you seem like a jolly guy, bro. And you seem like, you know. What yeah. I'm telling you that you're laughing, he's paining me. I know. He's paining me. <laughs> I, sometimes I can't say I regret being a content creator. Yeah. I regret being a content creator because I'm now selfish with time. Mm. I'm, I, I just left now to watch a movie. I just need to sit down the cinema to Nah, bro, I, I, the reason I'm laughing because I agree with you. I used to be like that in the beginning. Yeah. But then I realized, I got to a point where I realized that all that matters is if I'm happy, number mm. one, with what I'm posting. You see? Number two, if the people that I do this for, which mm. are our audience, yeah. are happy. Okay. And my family is happy. In terms of like when I walk ho back home, my mother's not saying, hey, you embarrassed yeah, me, you did this. Yeah, like that. If she's happy, I'm happy. Everybody else can go fuck themselves. If the numbers are not happy? Sir? What if the numbers are not happy? Ah, numbers... Does, does, does it look like that, a waste of time sometimes? No, numbers really don't. Number, numbers really don't matter because like you can get a million views, okay. you get ten thousand views, but it's about the impact you had mm. on the people watching. Okay. So if I release a video and a million thousand people watched, yeah. 
and then I released a video and 10,000 people watched. Mm. But the 10,000 that watched enjoyed. Mm. Like for this, for example, whoever watches this will enjoy the conversation yeah. we're having. Like and that. that's it, you know? Because yeah. if you're doing it for numbers, then you'll go crazy because not every video is going to hit a million. Mm, mm. You know? You're, you're preaching now. <laughs> <laughs> you're preaching now. You're making sense. Yes. But people, do you know what addiction is? People are addicted to this number thing. Yeah. It's addicting, actually. No, I've, I've never... Because I'm from a radio background, yeah. so I've never done things for numbers. So yeah. on radio, you, you you couldn't tell who was listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you just know, okay, whoever's listening must have the best show ever. Now imagine... We can't tell when we post how many views, how many comments. You yeah. understand? Why why can't we have that on social media? Yeah. I don't want to know the numbers. Just post and then that's it. The pressure is going to go. But they want you to know the numbers so that they can... So you now know you are failing. Yeah. You are failing. Keep it up. Up, up. And then you are up there. Because the thing is, if you stay in the comments too long, right? Okay. What ends up happening is that if people say, hey, Big Slim... I love the way... I love your hat. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? You're going to wear that hat every episode. <laughs> <laughs> then after a few episodes, they're like, hey, Big Slim, we are tired. We get it. We, we are tired of that hat. Oh, now I want to find a new hat. You understand? Yeah. So even the good comments, like when they comment something good that you do, okay. then you keep doing that good thing and then they get tired they of get it. They get tired of it. Again. You understand and what I'm saying? Find something else to do. Yes. And then when it's the bad comments, <laughs> obviously those, yeah. if uh, those will always affect you, you know? Mm. So that's why I'm saying well, for me, it's, it's about, okay, did I enjoy this episode? Yeah. And if I did, I'll put it up. Thank you. Because all it matters is, you know, if I enjoyed it. Because okay. then it means, because the audience is like you. It's a mm. reflection of who you are. Yeah, That's yeah. why they watch the content. So if chances are you enjoyed the content, mm -hmm. chances are they will enjoy it as well. Okay. You know? But so, it's, I'm still learning, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, and we're old, bro. We've, we, we're old, bro. I'm 37. Like, this thing is still see, new. I'm 42. <laughs> So you got three years left. I'm at the best. I got three years left. How do you know? I got three years left to. That's why I'm, I'm investing my money in on lands, properties, because I have a plan already. I'm gonna leave this job. Mm. It's it's like Okiana. It's addicted and it's affecting my mental health. Mm. And if my child grow up and say, "Dad, I want to be a content creator," I'm gonna slap him. <laughs> Don't fuck with your brain. <laughs> I pray. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah. you. Don't. Go, the, your brain is gonna just fucked up. Yeah. Because you are not learning. If if you are reading book, we are not even reading books anymore. Mm. We don't pray anymore. Like back in the days when you when you sleep and you wake up, and the first thing you pick is your Bible or your Quran to pray. The first thing I just laptop and your phone check the last What's post. What's trending? You know, so it has affected a lot of things in about about every. So when was the last time you were normal? Just big slim, not the content creator, not the musician, just big slim living your life. When I log out of Instagram for a week, <laughs> I'm normal. Yeah. Because what am I doing with 2.9 million followers? Even Jesus have 12 followers. Mm. I don't have to know too many people. I don't even have to know you. <laughs> 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 the more I know people, so the more the problem. Why? What am I doing? Why? Why did I know you? <laughs> Who are you? Why do you know me? Who are Social you? Social media. <laughs> what brings you down to Nigeria? Why do you know? Yeah. Unlike before, back in the days when there was no social media, airport is always empty. Mm. Londoners don't know what's going on in South Africa. Yeah. South Africa don't know what's going on in Kenya. Nobody's rushing anywhere. Yeah. Anything we have, we are contented with it. We, we believe content. you are the one that is enjoying. Yeah. Not knowing we're suffering. At least we, we, we like it that way. But the more you know, the more the problem. <laughs> <laughs> now embassy is full. <laughs> Nigerians now know what is going on in America. <laughs> America now know what's going on in South Africa. <laughs> Social media. Yeah. Hip hop is fucked up. <laughs> Afrobeat is fucked up. Jamaica is fucked up. We're fucked it up. Social media. <laughs> Unlike before, when you see a female pint, maybe she just do what with the South African. Oh, sir. And you just see a pint. Mm. The way you value it back in the 90s. <laughs> oh, I just saw the girl's pint. 
But now nobody give a fuck anymore. <laughs> we know too much, man. <laughs> Who cares if I see points? I see it every day online anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why not too much? We want to be like God, and then we will be fucked up. Yeah. I don't have to know anybody. Yeah. Just my family and some few friends, and then that's all. Done. But because of too many things we know, it has affected the world. There's no even place for animals to stay. Mm. I have to pay now to go and see a snake. Mm. <laughs> There's no more lands anyway. <laughs> These people have come now and hijacked the whole land and built fat, built everything on the land till that affected animals. Mm. Now every animal is in a cage. Mm. And we are in a cage now. We are in a cage in the brain. Mm. We, are, we, are, we have messed up. Are you hearing me? I hear you, bro. I'm hearing Big Slim. I hear you, man. It's a cancer. It, I so, thank you. So I, want, I just want to go back. When I'm, the moment I'm 45, I'm going to go back to the way they used to be in the 90s. I'm going to go back to reading novels. I'm going to go back to listening to radio. Remember then when you listen to radio, you'll be like, oh, look at that sweet voice. You don't know who's talking. You just love the voice. Big Slim, have you ever gone to a place where there's no network and you can't go on your phone? It looks like you can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Internet is the new air. God is somewhere that is nodding his head and they say, this generation, generation is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Do you know how you feel without internet? Yeah. Your life is empty. Yeah. Like you have no value. Yeah. We are addicted to Black Mirror. Mm. So we need to change all these things. Look at how many cameras that is looking at me. You see, take this back to that social media. And many people now will now know me. Why, why should they know me? They don't have to know me. Because the more they know me, the more I put my life in danger. Mm. Nothing I can do now that I can, I can get away with it. Mm. Oh, it's big slim that pass. We know him. I, this is him, yeah. Look, is it not you, yeah? What, unlike before. And then they want a picture because they saw you on this thing. Thank you. Do you know what you feel when, you, when you're you about to make love to a woman? And the woman just bring her phone up. You'll be like, hey, hey, hey. Because <laughs> <laughs> she wants a selfie. It has affected my sex life, bro. I don't even trust anybody. Because mm. I will feel like I might sleep off and then you might put my little wee-wee on there on social media. Mm. And I know how small the little wee-wee <laughs> is as tiny as a secret. So I don't want that out. <laughs> oh, sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, big so, so, so social media music it's it just it's too it's, I'm tired actually I'm tired oh man Big Slim shout out to you man appreciate, appreciate you so much I appreciate, man. Bro. I appreciate I'm glad bro. I know you at least now I'm, I'm glad I know you you don't have to know me. <laughs> <laughs> yes! but you have to know me bro we're no, we, we family yeah, we yeah. all came from the same root yeah. we're Africans yeah. so why can't we now like ourselves mm. why uh, what you're busy with any music coming out you didn't mention out you dropping music what else are you doing please yeah you need to support me my music too yeah if you don't support me I will fight you yeah yes so I put out the song mm. we did it means we are there we're everywhere in everywhere that is popping we there nice so Slim K has been a while go check out my new song coming out April 5th 5th of April and then I have Magneto, I have Coral BD on it, and then these guys are doing well. I, I pray God put me back on that track of an artist. Again, like second chance, so I can leave this mental stressing job that I'm doing. Fantastic, man. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Big Slim, make some noise for Big Slim. <laughs> make some noise. Make some noise. Hey, man. Nigeria is so amazing. Much. Every interview gets better and better, man. Oh, are, are you serious? Yeah, man. It's, I'm having so much fun, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was crying. You killed me. <laughs> hey, we're out of here, man. Boom. <laughs> so Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, it lesha, the figi. Bungo yig, even when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.